Good morning, you guys. Happy Tuesday. The reason why I'm starting this vlog today and not yesterday is because yesterday was Labor Day, so it was like a long weekend. And I took yesterday completely off because Joel wasn't working either. So I was like, you know what? Let's just take the day to relax. I hung out with Madison, my sister, and her boyfriend, Connor. And then I went over to my parents' house for dinner. It was a good, relaxing day. I really appreciated that extra rest day because I slept in and I didn't work out or didn't do anything really of my morning routine. I was well needed. So I'm really excited to get back into the gym this week honestly today was so hard waking up just because i did have that three-day weekend so it made it extra hard for me to wake up early today and also joel is sick so he isn't waking up early either so usually honestly like he motivates me so much because when i see him always just like waking up early and doing his thing that motivates me so much and gives me motivation so waking up completely on my own this early was pretty hard because it's only 6 40 right now and so i had to like muster up the discipline and motivation to just get myself out of bed regardless if he was sleeping in or not because usually i'm like oh joel's up i have to get up you know what i mean but like i said already in previous videos like motivation comes and goes you're never always gonna have motivation so that's why you need to have discipline and determination anyway so yeah joel's sick we don't know what it is he just has like a stuffy nose like it's not horrible it's manageable but he is sick so he's sleeping in this morning and resting i just really hope that i don't get it i feel completely fine so hopefully i should be fine for this week but yeah i don't know exactly what i'm gonna do today make a grocery shopping today or tomorrow just really depending on how things go today and what kind of if i have enough food because usually i do grocery shopping on monday we'll see if i end up going today or tomorrow which is weird i never really do like a midday big grocery shop but we'll see anyways let's go get this workout in i'm at oxygen yoga and fitness again like i am every week i love them so much and they do infrared workouts so it's heated and it just feels so good to like sweat and get all those toxins out of your body and it just has so many health benefits it's so good for you so i'm ready to get my sweat on so let's go first week of september and i'm so excited for the fall so let's go work out oh my god go I just washed my hair and I just wanted to show you guys some products that I have been using so this is a scalp serum and I put this in my hair last night so it was in my hair all throughout the night and throughout my workout this is just a scalp serum and it promotes hair growth supports thicker fuller hair and spy way I love this hair brand so much I just applied this hair oil to my ends and it's by the same brands. I also use their shampoo. Even throughout like the week when my ends get really dry, I'll just apply this in there and it makes them feel so soft. And applying it to my wet hair after I shower makes them dry really, really, really silky and smooth. So these two products have been my go-tos for my hair care. Here is my breakfast today. I actually have these gluten-free English muffins that my mom gave me two to try. So I'm really excited to try them because I've been missing like bread, but they have pretty good ingredients. And then I just topped it with nut butter. It doesn't have any like peanuts in it, but it's just like almonds and a mix of nuts. It's organic from Costco. And then I just did two sunny side up eggs and I have some sriracha here if I want any hot sauce but it's just like a easy plain simple breakfast i wish i had like avocado or something or turkey bacon but i just don't have groceries right now so this is the best that i can do but yeah i need to go grocery shopping but it still looks good so let's eat i 
I just finished breakfast. I'm about to make a coffee, but I'm opening these new beans. They're actually organic and fair trade. They're dark roast. I got them at Costco because my parents had them and they were so good. And we've never bought an organic coffee before. So I'm really excited. It's just like one of those things that you can easily change and it's probably better for you. So these are whole beans. And that's why we went to Walmart the other day because we bought a bean grinder. So it's gonna be like physically more work, but I kind of like it. It's like a fun process of making coffee and it's a lot more fresh this way, I feel like, but it, they smell so good. And I'm just gonna grind the beans up and then make some drip coffee because I'm feeling like a little cozy morning today. But oh my goodness, the smell of this right now is so good. So I just made myself the coffee and it's actually so good. Like I love the beans and I decided to bring out my pumpkin mug because it is the beginning of September. So it's basically fall now. I consider fall September and October. So cheers to the pumpkin mug. I've been waiting to bring this out and I'm so happy and cozy, but I'm just going to enjoy my coffee now, probably while watching a YouTube video or something just before I get ready to start the day. the backstory on this so you were just like oh like i want to see you and then my hair looks so funny so i want to make this room vintage so i'm gonna do like a love shack fancy type wallpaper where it's gonna be like a vintage like pink cute wallpaper so imagine that and then for my vanity i'm going to get a like a gold or like a vintage like big mirror so that it'll fill up the wall better and then i want to get curtains for the wall so i'm gonna go to ikea they have like really cute curtains there which is like probably just like some sheer beige or whatever curtains so i can put them along the window and then i want to get like a cute vintage lamp in here and then i'm gonna put my clothing rack and then i feel like once i have that all in the room is just gonna feel a lot more like done up and then i can just do things from there i think i'm gonna end up doing like a whole room transformation video unless you guys want to see it in one of these vlogs let me know if i should do a separate room transformation transformation video or if i should just include it casually in a vlog what you guys would prefer but i'm so excited to do it and i just feel like i finally have a vision of what i want to do and i'm really excited about it because at the end of the day this is like my get ready with me room this is where i'm going to do my makeup this is where i'm going to get dressed and i just want to like feel really inspired to film in here and right now i just don't because it's so plain and i just don't know what to do with it but now i know what to do so pinterest thank you very much if you guys ever need inspiration literally just scroll on pinterest and i swear to you it'll help you gain some inspiration anyway so right now i just have like some stuff on the floor that i want to clean up and then i also want to do my laundry because my hamper is full and i'm just going to clean up my room a bit and get some laundry started and then i think i'm going to go to home sense <laughs> Okay guys, I just got ready to leave the house. I just have on sweatpants because I just wanted to be really comfy today with a white t-shirt and then these little sunnies on. Super simple, didn't really feel like putting together an outfit today. So this is what we got when I wanted to be comfy. But I'm just gonna go run a couple of errands and I'll talk to you guys in the car, but just wanted to do a little bit of a OOTD before I leave. I also need new purses. I've been, I literally wear this black one every single day and it's just like so basic and boring. It's good for like an everyday purse, but I feel like when I go thrifting this week, I wanna like look for purses because I'm just like so bored of this one. Some girls have like a million purses, but I have like two and they're so plain. That's the mission for this week is to get some new purses, but okay, let's go. I just arrived at HomeSense and I want to find like some fall candles. I know they're not good for you like because they're filled with chemicals and stuff, but I honestly let fall and Christmas be my candle excuse. Those are like the only times of the year where I'll let myself burn like a toxic candle because obviously like it's so they're so fake and what you're ingesting is not good for you so it's not like i'm promoting this but at the same time it's like i also want to live a life of balance as well and i really want to get like cute pumpkin pillows or something so we're gonna look and see what they have because fall only really lasts for like two months and then once november hits in my head it's christmas so i like to get going on decorating and on celebrating the seasons just because they come and go so fast so since it's september in my mind it's fall like i know technically there's still a few weeks left to 
of summer but in my mind september and october is fall november december is christmas so we need to get going on the decorations but before i get going in i just wanted to talk to you guys quickly um because this was just on my mind when i was driving and i like to be quite honest with you i am like not in my confident era right now and just like everything in life my confidence and i feel like you can relate to this it's like very ebb and flow and there's just like periods in my life where i just look in the mirror and i just am mean to myself i sometimes just can't help it i don't know if it's like hormones or around my period or, or what it is but there's just like some periods where i go through and i'm so confident and i'm like yeah i look so good and then there's sometimes where i'm like being so mean to myself and i'm trying not to like every single time i have a negative thought about myself i try to erase it and replace it with something good so that's i've been doing that like let's say you look in the mirror and you're like ew i don't like the way i look today kind of try to rephrase it in your mind and be like i love my body i love the way i look um i'm so beautiful inside out and just try to get rid of those negative thoughts even if you don't feel like it just by saying it it helps your brain think it over time and plant that seed there is times where i'll go through periods of my life and i'm like wow i look so good but like i don't know why but just this season of my life right now i just like i'm not the most confident and i think my eczema also has something to do with that because i just like feel gross sometimes when i have an eczema flare and it's just like taking a really big damper on my confidence my eczema is doing like great great by the way but it always comes in waves like i don't know when my next flare is gonna be so i'm kind of just like scared for that to come but right now it's fine this week it's great um but still like i looked in the mirror today and i just like was saying negative things to myself and i feel like a lot of you guys can relate to that because it's just things that we do as girls when we're held to these like high standards that women should look a certain way and dress a certain way and be a certain way but it's like at the end of the day you just have to love yourself for you regardless of anybody's standards regardless of what society is saying and as soon as you start to have that self-love you're gonna glow from the inside out and a few years ago like i was so not confident like i was just like the most unconfident shy person like back in high school and i have truly like learned to love myself and to be confident and i had to fake it until i made it because at the beginning like i had to fake not to be shy i had to fake to be confident and it kind of just like grew on me and now that's how i am but even though i'm a very like i would say confident outgoing person and i love myself there is still periods of time in my life where i just like don't feel my best and i'm not like the most actually like confident even though i may might appear that way anytime i go through a period in life like this i have to fake it until i make it like i just have to just keep rewiring my brain and being like no you're beautiful you look good and that's it you're hot so anyways i just thought that i would share that because i feel like this happens to a lot of girls and women and people even if you're a guy where there's just periods where you just like you don't feel like yourself you don't feel beautiful and i heard that this is actually normal because i was listening to this like doctor talk or i forget who it was but i'm pretty sure some sort of like doctor and she was saying how it's like so normal it's like anything else in life you go through ebb and flow periods where sometimes you're just not going to feel as confident or as beautiful but it's just like a phase and it's like it's ebb and flow everything in life is ebb and flow and you just have to get through the tough parts but there's no sunshine without rain anyways i just thought that i would talk to you guys and be vulnerable about that because it's not like the best feeling to be honest to not feel like beautiful and i'm not asking for compliments like whatsoever i'm just like being honest but yeah i just thought that i would share that if anybody else can relate fake it until you make it that's my best advice and that's what i do to myself and rewire my brain in those little ways of just like talking positively like switching those negative thoughts into positive ones yeah anyways on a lighter note let's go shopping for some fall decor and see what they have okay let's go shopping <laughs> Okay, here is my little haul from home sense so i got this wooden pumpkin and my plan for this is to put it on the island and have it like as a centerpiece it's literally like made out of wood and it's so cute and i just feel like matches the neutral vibes in the house and then i got these dish cloths which have like little leaves on them there's two beige ones and then a cream one and i just feel like they give fall like sweater vibes so really love these and then i got three candles the first one is called autumn morning and then i got this one called heritage pumpkin and they all smell so good you guys and i also got this maple hazelnut one went a little overboard on the candles but i'm so excited and then i got this throw randomly because we only have one blanket for our couch and i just thought that this would be super cute and i like how it's like knit material so we'll see how that looks on the couch unexpectedly i came across these 
platform mini ugg dupes you guys these are only 60 dollars like 59 dollars i believe and i was like oh my gosh i'm gonna snatch these i already have a pair of like mini uggs but they're not the platform version and these are like the ultra minis they are a dupe so they're from the brand it's called kush cushion air so if you guys want to search them up go ahead they look really good on i'll try them on for you guys right now but i couldn't pass these up because even though i usually wouldn't buy dupes for these they look really really authentic so you can't go wrong so here's how they look on the feet i feel like i don't know i can't even tell the difference like i have real uggs you guys and they look pretty damn identical i don't have the platform ones but they look really similar and they're super comfy and i just feel like are going to be a really good fall shoe and i was so excited because they only had one in my size their size eight usually i'm like a seven and a half or seven but for some reason with uggs i'm always an eight so i guess they're true to size to uggs i just think that they're super cute this is the new island centerpiece i just put this wooden pumpkin with these candles and i think it looks so cute because the pumpkin pie that i thrifted was here before this but this just gives the kitchen such a fall look and i love it morning you guys happy wednesday this week already feels so short because monday was a holiday so i started it late but it feels so good that it's already halfway through the week like i feel like the week goes by so fast all of a sudden it's monday and then it's friday and then the weekend's over and then it just repeats so that's why you have to like actually be present in every single moment because you can't be waiting for the weekend and you can't be like so excited for the weekend that you're just like focusing on that the whole week because the weekend's gonna come and go so fast and then it's gonna be the weekend again and then the week's gonna go by and then just life goes by so fast you guys like this year is already almost done pretty much like we're veering towards the last months of the year which is so actually wild and crazy and what the heck is even happening i don't know if it's just me but the time has been flying by it's just been zooming i have no idea where this year went like i feel like we were just in christmas last year and now it's like christmas is basically almost approaching because it's just a few months away like once september hits fall goes by so fast and then christmas comes and then it's new year's and then bam a new year so fast but anyways my sleep last night felt like I didn't get asleep. I had eight hours of sleep. I went to bed at 9.30, but it felt like I did not get even one hour of sleep because you know those sleeps where you just like pass out the whole entire time? Usually I do, but usually my sleeps feel so much longer. For some reason, even though I got like a good sleep, it felt like half an hour. Like it felt like a nap. When my alarm rang, I was like, you have to be kidding me. This has to be a joke. Like I feel like I need to sleep or have to sleep five more hours. When I'm sleeping, I want to enjoy my sleep, but I can't enjoy it because I'm sleeping. So it's like, you're done it was just so hard for me to get out of bed but i'm so thankful that i do have like really good sleeps like i sleep like a baby all the time and i have no problem with sleeping but sometimes they just feel too way too fast so that's the only thing but anyways let's go work out get our strength on for today i weirdly have like a lot of energy this morning so let's go in So I just got home from my workout 
and I am sweating so much. I wipe myself off with a towel. But you guys, these oxygen yoga and fitness workouts make me sweat so much. It's so good because I just feel like I'm detoxing my body. And I used to go in the sauna like a few times a week. But this is literally equivalent or even better to going in the sauna. Because I sweat even more honestly than I do going in the sauna or just as much. So it's been so amazing. <laughs> Here is my breakfast today. It's the exact same thing as yesterday, but I did scrambled eggs. I still haven't gone grocery shopping, so I'm gonna go today. So that's why it's so bare and plain. And this way I'm using up what's in my fridge, but I'm just gonna sit down and eat now and then make a coffee after. So I'm just about to make my homemade creamer. I like to kind of make it like a sweetened creamer and you guys, it's so thick and creamy for coffee. It's so perfect. So I'm gonna show you guys how I make it because in my last vlog, I showed you guys how I made just my milk. But this is the cream recipe that's like super thick. I just have half a cup of cashews, half a cup of almonds, four dates, and these are like super soft and sweet, and then some cinnamon. So I'm just gonna put this all in a blender. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just add two cups of water. If you wanna make milk, you have to add about double this. If you guys want that recipe, just go watch my last vlog and it's in there. But for cream, since you want to make it super thick, you only need two cups of water. And then I'm just going to put a little dash of cinnamon. I'm just going to add this to the blender and then blend it until it's smooth. So I already mentioned this in my last vlog, but just in case you missed it, in order to strain the milk, you just have to take a milk bag. You can get these like on Amazon. You can get them at your grocery store. All you do is put it over your bowl and then pour the mixture into here and then you just have to squeeze it to strain it out and then you have homemade cream So I don't have an actual cream container yet, but I do want to get one so I just put it in this container for now but this is how it turns out. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's really thick and it actually like works as like a thick cream in coffee. Like it's so good, tastes amazing, doesn't even taste like super nutty in the coffee. It's a great substitute if you guys want a healthy or alternative than like those sweetened creams you get from the grocery store that have so much additives and sugar in them. This is like completely sweet to naturally. So you know that you're getting your sugar from the dates. It's not like processed or fake sugar. And yeah, I kind of just like made this recipe up and I love it so much. So that is how I make my homemade cream. I'm all cozied up on the couch with my coffee and my fall mug. And I have just been enjoying in the morning, like after I get all of my things done and my workout done, my morning routine, I have been loving to just like set my coffee and watch a YouTube video, watch TV, just for the time it takes me to drink this, just because I feel like it's just really nice to have a peaceful moment before I start my day. And it's only around 10 o'clock right now. So since I wake up so early, I feel like it's so well deserved. And it's just like a quiet, nice, relaxing moment to enjoy my coffee before I actually like it ready for the day and do work so i've been re-watching gossip girl i actually started yesterday and i'm so excited because i haven't watched it since i don't know maybe like eight years ago so i'm so excited it's just such like a comfort show and i feel like it's perfect for the fall as well but i'm just gonna watch and enjoy my coffee i'm just about to go out grocery shopping i have just been feeling the comfy vibes this week and i haven't been wanting to really wear anything but sweatpants so here we are again. I've had these for like eight years. They're from H&M and they're still such good shape. They're really good quality and I love these ones so much. They just fit so nicely. And then this is the tank or the long sleeve that I got from the Aritzia warehouse sale. It's actually amazing. I'm obsessed with it. I really want to get the same one but in gray because that is like something that I realized I'm missing from my wardrobe is like a long sleeve fitted gray shirt so i'm gonna like look up the style of this shirt and like order it in gray because i love the fit and material of this one i just love how it's like skin tight and it's not cropped so it's pretty long yeah it's by sunday best from aritzia so i'm gonna try to find it and order it i just put a cute little gray headband in my hair just to get it out of my face 
while I'm shopping. And then I put this brown purse on today. So little comfortable outfit because I have to be comfortable when I'm grocery shopping since it always ends up taking so long. <laughs> I just like to be super, super comfy and in chill clothes. So this is my cute little outfit for today. I haven't used this purse in a while and I was wondering where my Charlotte Tilbury lip liner went. And it has been stashed away in this purse for months. And I was like, where did my Charlotte Tilbury favorite lip liner go? But lo and behold, I open this purse and it's in here. I am always losing my lip liners, whether I leave them in my purses and then I forget about them or in the car, like they're just everywhere. I think I have probably have like 20 lip liners, not all Charlotte Tilbury, but mostly drugstore ones, just like laid out everywhere. And I don't really care about them since they're cheap, but this one, I mean, I got it in PR, but still, she's $30. Or more even so i want to take good care of her and not lose this one i like made a point to not lose it and then it got lost but it was in the purse does that always happen to you guys like you put a lip liner in a purse and then you're just like where did it go and then you forget you ever used that purse so this is like one of my two purses i have been just using my black one for months straight but i thought the brown is cute but anyways i made a tiktok about it so go follow my tiktok if you aren't following me on there i just post casual brands and videos whenever i feel like it so it's a fun time on there. I just got to the grocery store. I'm coming to this one and then I'm gonna go to Costco and then I'm gonna go to Meridian Meat. So I have three stops to make. Let's do some well needed grocery shopping because my fridge is literally empty at this point. ginormous grocery haul so i'm gonna go through it with you guys quickly just so you can see what i've been eating lately so i just got these dairy free healthier chocolate chips and i'm gonna use these for something i'm baking tonight and then we got some walnuts pecans of course i'm obsessed with these i use them in everything then i just got some yams to make some potato fries or something some ground beef some mushrooms and ginger in here and then i just got some chicken skewers organic some organic eggs these are from costco and then i got these and they just look so good so i was like you know what why not try them they have really clean organic good ingredients and then joel got this organic creamer from costco we got these two mayos and this is the best brand of mayo you guys because it's made with avocado oil and no other bad oil so this is the only mayo that i eat and it's so good it's so much healthier and if you get it at costco it comes in a way bigger jar for less expensive so we like to have this stocked up in the house and then i just got a bag of lemons because i use these every day just got assorted fish and meat from meridian here which is like grass-fed organic meat and then i got some salad a pepper baking powder these organic red rice bites that i love and then i got some almond flour the only ingredient in this is almonds so this is going to be perfect for if i want to bake something like with recipes that i make up because it's super healthy and then i got these grass-fed sausages for the morning these are from costco all of this and a huge thing of coconut oil just because i always feel like i need it and i never have it so now i'm stocked up for so long some maple syrup bananas olive oil we ran out of olive oil and then just some potatoes so that's the overview haul i'm going to clean out the fridge right now and then put everything away fully stocked fridge it looks so good and it just feels really nice to have everything filled and organized and clean if you guys live by yourself and have your own fridge you know what i mean but such a good feeling so on all of those groceries we spent about like almost four hundred dollars which is insane but at the same time like me and joel have recently started to prioritize like for the past kind of like year ish of our life that we want to start shopping organic like whole foods and just like the best quality of things because we can go to just like normal a normal grocery store and spend probably like a fraction of the price but what kind of quality of ingredients are you getting and i totally understand if like you can't afford to shop like this 
organic and all of that i completely understand that but since we can i feel like it's just such a good investment in our health and something that we prioritize spending money on and we do see it as a long-term investment because if you don't have your health like you don't have anything yeah i just feel like there's so much crap and bullshit in the foods nowadays and they just put so many additives there's so many preservatives there's so many antibiotics in the meat and it's just so horrible like companies will do the most to have like the cheapest stuff so that they can make the most profit and it's kind of disgusting and so shopping at grocery stores that sort all the bullshit out for you where they only have like ingredient um organic produce is a lot better and you know that they're sourcing their ingredients more locally and they actually care about what they put in their stores versus like a huge like grocery store that may have like better prices but aren't as like ethical and good so yeah, i just want to be real like include more of like you know daily expenses because i feel like nobody really talks about that on youtube and how expensive things can be and especially if you want to like eat clean and healthy and good quality how expensive it is and i don't want to be like complaining about it because i'm very very lucky and that we're very abundant and we can afford this and i also love to have the mindset that money comes and goes the universe is on our side the universe is gonna give us money and it's just like a good mindset to have so yeah it's like with anything like i said in my previous video like when you're buying something it is a energy exchange and as long as you're getting something in return for that money like it's not a waste of money so you can't really see that as like your money depreciating it's taking me so many years honestly to have like this really good mindset about money and i do slip up at, at times because we're all human and we all have those like moments but i just have to remind myself that like what even is money money is literally a currency it's energy whenever i spend money you just have to think of making money because putting negative vibes towards something is not going to do anything for you I'm like watching a squirrel right now like run up the tree. It's so cute. But anyways, yeah I just wanted to be transparent because living on your own can be super expensive And like I said, I don't like having that mindset about it But realistically money wise it can be super expensive especially if you want to eat healthy and clean But I hope you're all doing great with this economy that we're in right now with all the prices going crazy and just know that if you're stressing about money or whatever it is you're stressing about if you're having a hard time i suggest that you literally right now like sit down and go do like a 10 or after you watch this video go do like a 10 minute money manifestation youtube meditation i'll link one down below it helps so much to put you in like that good positive money mindset because stressing about it it's not going to do anything for you and i know like okay you're not going to do a meditation and you're going to get like a million dollars in the mail but every little thing counts and there's no harm in thinking positive so just know that you can attract abundance into your life by thinking positive thoughts and i stand by that so because i was broke before like okay i don't want to say i was ever broke because like i was living with my parents and i didn't have any bills but i had a point where i was just like at a minimum wage job and i had the bare minimum and i honestly manifested my way up here so you can do it too anyways okay <laughs> So I just made this banana thingy. <laughs> Madison, when she came over the other day, she made us something and it was so good, but she said she eyeballed the recipe. So I kind of eyeballed this as well. I'm just gonna bake it and then put chocolate over top. Hopefully it turns out good. So I'll update you guys. I'm not gonna share the recipe until it comes out of the oven, just in case it's bad. So <laughs> we'll see. So here are how the bars turned out. They're actually really, really good. So I'll put the recipe down below for you guys. I cut them into little like squares and so good. So this is definitely a staple recipe that I'm gonna be making. Hey guys, so I'm just about to get ready for bed, wash my face, get in my pajamas, all cozy. I've been going to bed at around 9.30. It's nine o'clock right now. I try to settle in bed around this time and then go to bed at 9.30 since I wake up pretty early. I just like need at least eight hours of sleep but to help me like wind down for the night i have been reading before bed instead of going on my phone and recently i've been finishing it starts with us by Car colleen hoover and i just read like a chapter or two before bed and it just like puts me in the best state before sleeping because it just like i don't know it just makes me really really tired like reading makes me tired so it's perfect 
and i'm like more than halfway done Where's my book marker? yeah i'm more than halfway done through the book and i really like it so far i feel like not much has really happened it's just been like slow but i don't know if something's gonna happen but yeah it's a good book overall i would just wanted to read it because i read the one that's before this i forget what it's called it ends with us and it was really good so that's why i'm reading this one but I really kind of want to get into reading and maybe even like get a Kindle or something just because it would be so much more convenient to like bring that around so I don't need to be buying a million books and like I don't even know where to store my books so I feel like a Kindle is just like so good so I might even get a Kindle let me know if you guys recommend that I also have an iPad so should I just read on that instead or should I like get the Kindle I don't know but I do want to start reading more especially for the fall because I feel like it's just so cozy to read but anyways, I just wanted to come on here, say goodnight before I get ready for bed and let you know that I've been reading and trying to implement that habit. Good night. <laughs>
So we'll see how I do that. I don't even know how I'm gonna do it yet. But yeah, so tomorrow I have a 7 a.m. class again. So tomorrow we're back to the grind for Friday. Enjoy the thrifting haul because I feel like I just got such good pieces. Yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. I got some pretty good finds and in total I spent only $50 because at Value Village, if you donate something, you get 20% off. So I had a huge bag to donate and I got 20% off. So everything came to $50, which was so good. But the first and I think my favorite find is this one. This is a brown purse and it is perfect condition i am so obsessed with it especially for the fall i feel like this is going to be my new everyday purse i don't think i'm ever not going to wear this purse it's so perfect and i'm so proud of this find <laughs> so i got this and then i just got this black one i really like the shape of it and i just think it would be super cute for going out it has like silver detailing on it i don't really have anything like it so i thought that i'd pick it up because it's super cute and then i got this knit sweater and i have been looking for something like this and madison actually found this and she's like you can have it but how cute is it it's actually so perfect i'm gonna give all of these clothes like a good wash but i'm obsessed and i love how like the zipper goes all the way up to the neck so i can wear it opened or closed and it's just so cozy such a good find and then next thing i got is this brown kind of like crew neck type of thing it looks a lot better on than it does just like chilling like this it just fits me really really well and it just sits really nicely and i love like the collar it's so cute such fall vibes so really happy about this find as well and then i got this green hoodie this hoodie fits like a gem it fits me perfectly just the way it sits and i'm obsessed with it it has a little stain right here so i hope i can get it off but if not, I honestly don't even care because it's not that noticeable, but I'm in love with the shade of green. It's super fall and the fit of this hoodie is just so good. So I'm so happy I found it. Yeah, I just love the fall like coloring we have going on here. And then last but not least, I got this Columbia sweater. This was such a good find. Madison found this one as well, but it's a zip up and it just fits me perfect. It's a size medium and it's just so cute and I've been wanting kind of like a black cozy zip up like this and it's just super super fall and i'm obsessed with it but yeah everything i got fits me really nice and i'm gonna probably throw them in the wash honestly like right now so i can get to wearing them asap but this is just a whole fall aesthetic going on here and i'm obsessed yeah everything i got just hits and i'm really happy about it so there's my little thrifting haul <laughs> good morning you guys happy friday i'm so happy this week felt so short honestly but Friday is just always good vibes. It's always Friday vibes, which are good vibes. And I'm not even kidding you, after Friday workouts, I almost cry because I just feel so proud of myself every single week for like accomplishing what I accomplished. And it's just like such a rewarding feeling when you accomplish something. And every single week, like at the end of the week on Friday, I feel like I truly accomplished something because me staying consistent and going to my workouts every day and building that relationship with discipline with myself makes me feel so good and confident and happy and not gonna lie i tear up when the instructor tells us that the workout is done on a friday because i just like feel so good and then i get the weekend to relax on the weekends i do absolutely nothing i don't hold myself accountable to anything a certain wake up time like nothing on the weekends i just take that time to truly do whatever i want sometimes i need to go grocery shopping or something random like that but i make sure to prioritize rest on the weekends and just like lazy days so if i wake up at 10 and i don't do anything all day like that's okay with me 
and I don't feel guilty about it. When you are living a lifestyle where like you're super disciplined, like you need that balance where you have like certain rest days of the week where you can just do whatever, let your body wake up at whatever time or else you're gonna drive yourself a little bit insane and it's not gonna be healthy that way. So finding that balance for me was so important and it's perfect because like Monday to Friday, I'm on my grind, I'm on my shit and then Saturday, Sunday, I'm like, you know what? I can do whatever today because it's my off days and it's my rest days so i think it's a weighted bar class today it's currently 6 40 and i'm gonna go in soon so there's guys that are just staring at me vlogging right now and this is like so awkward oh my god they literally just like looked into my car and walked by that was so awkward why is it so awkward to vlog i'm usually fine when i'm like with people in public vlogging but when i'm in my car and people walk by me and i have the camera and i'm just talking to it they're probably like what are what is she doing oh it just like aches me out i hate that anyways it's okay something is only embarrassing if you make it embarrassing and that's so true like if you just like brush it off like it's nothing and you're like what that wasn't embarrassing it's not gonna be embarrassing because embarrassing is just literally a feeling so it's not like an actual fact you know what i mean so if i don't make it embarrassing it's not embarrassing right um i am going to go into my workout now i'm so excited this is your motivation to get that friday workout and because it feels amazing and so accomplishing so happy friday babes let's go work out out of the workout i'm so sweaty and it was such a good workout i'm so happy we're done our workout for the weekend and it's just the best feeling but i'm just gonna stop into the grocery store now just to get some avocados if they have and pumpkin because i want to make some sort of like pumpkin creamer to put in my coffee this morning why not like that would be so yummy so let's go into the store i was gonna buy it like when i went grocery shopping but i completely forgot it was even on the list and i still didn't even like see it anyways Let's get some pumpkin. You guys, I just got back from my workout and I got this package in. You guys know these viral Uggs and I've wanted a pair so bad. And these are actually dupes because the real pair sold out and I can't find them anywhere. So I was like, I have to get my hands on a pair because they're just so cute. And I can see myself wearing these like every single day of the fall. So I saw on Etsy that they had dupes and I'm a size 8 usually in Uggs. So I wasn't sure what size to get but they fit me perfectly i'll try them on for you guys in a sec and i will link them down below they were only i think 60 or 50 dollars canadian but such a good deal and look at how good they look like i'm honestly so impressed and they don't say ug on them obviously because they're just dupes but i'm not complaining <laughs> like i'm not complaining these are so cute i'll have them linked down below for you guys with the size that i got but let me try them on i actually can't believe they look this good here they are on and they fit perfectly they look super super cute and i don't know i feel like you wouldn't be able to tell from the original like from a distance because just like it doesn't say ug but i am so freaking impressed with them and they're so comfortable i'm so happy but what a good find and they shipped pretty quick i wasn't expecting them for the next like week or two but they came so fast i'm pretty sure it only took them like a week and a half so very happy with this purchase Here's my breakfast today. I did shredded hash browns on the pan with eggs, avocado, sausage, 
It looks so good. I'm so excited to eat. Okay, I just washed the dishes, so don't mind the wet stains on my hoodie. But I'm gonna make a pumpkin cream cold brew right now. I'm totally winging this recipe. But basically what I'm thinking of doing is just frothing the cream, my homemade creamer, and the pumpkin together. That's basically it. So let's see how this turns out. It smells like fog. <laughs> so I'm just gonna add, I guess, like a spoonful. I don't really know how much to put. Let's hope that's good. And then I'm just gonna add a little bit of maple syrup just to sweeten it up a little bit extra. And then just take my hand frother and go at it. Can add a little bit more pumpkin. The only thing is, is I don't know if this cream is going to be thick enough because it's my homemade cream. So I'm not sure if it's going to like sit on top of the drink nicely, but we'll see. Okay, let's pour her over top. Yeah, it's not going to stay, but that's okay. It still looks really good. All right, I'm just going to add some cinnamon. Even though it didn't turn out the way that I necessarily wanted, it still looks bomb and let's taste it. Mmm. Okay, that is so good. You can taste the pumpkin. That is so good and easy to make. Okay, I'm definitely gonna be making this again, but 10 out of 10 would recommend. Even if it doesn't like sit like cold foam, it doesn't matter. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mmm. So good. I just got a package from Garage in the mail and I'm so excited. I'm gonna do a try on haul for you guys right now because I am obsessed with these pieces and with garage so let's get into the haul these pieces are so perfect for fall okay so here are the first two pieces that i got it's so funny because in this vlog i was saying how i wanted a gray long sleeve and you guys this one is so perfect the fit of it is perfect i got it in a size extra small and it just hugs me so well and comes up to the perfect length and it's the comfiest thing literally ever i know i'm gonna be wearing this with every outfit because it's just such a basic staple that you need in your wardrobe okay i cannot get enough of these cargos are you kidding me i am so obsessed look at the way they fit me you guys i got them in a size one and they fit me perfectly like usually when i wear pants they always don't fit me right but these just hug the back of me and stay up on my waist and the point where they sit on my hips is perfect i don't like when things are too low and i don't like when things are too high but this point on my waist is so perfect and they fit me so nice and well and i just paired them with my ugg dupes that i got but this outfit for fall is just so easy to put together and it's so cute if you guys are in school this would be so perfect to wear and these cargos you can wear in so many different ways and this shirt as well i am just like so obsessed with this okay so here are the second pair of pants i am so obsessed with these ones as well and again the fit is just so immaculate like look at this it fits me so perfectly no room here on the waist and they fit my butt so nice i'm sorry but i'm gonna be saying obsessed so much in this haul because i actually just can't believe how cute these are the pricing that garage has you guys is just unmatched for the quality that you get they're just the perfect pant and they're so fall and you can dress them up or down going out going to school running errands and they're so comfortable as well so here are the next pair of pants that i got these again fit me so perfectly these are the same ones but in black and these would literally just go with anything and everything and i'm gonna be wearing these three pants i feel like just on rotation this whole fall so and then i got this little zip up this would be perfect to wear to like my morning workout or to go on a walk in the fall and i'm just obsessed with like skin tight zip ups like this and they also have this in multiple colors so if white is not your jam then you can get black or there are other colors but i love the white and it just like fits me super super well and it's so comfortable and i love it so much you can also wear it open with like a sports bra underneath like however you want to wear it but i also have to point out the material on this is butter soft like it is the smoothest material ever here is the last thing that i got from garage i was so excited when i opened this up because i do not have a black mini puffer and so when i got this i was so excited i'm obsessed with it like are you kidding me wearing this to a workout or just wearing this to go on a walk in the fall and in the winter going to school if you guys go to school just out and about this is such a cute puffer jacket and you guys for the price you cannot beat it it is such good quality and just fits so cute and nice and even this outfit is adorable 
I love the all black theme. Here's a more close-up of the puffer. It is just so warm and cozy and such good quality. But yeah, so if you guys want to shop any of these pieces that I just showed, I will have all the links in my description box and also along with my sizes so you can just get a reference if you are the same type of build as me. But I love Garage so much and I thank them for sending me all these pieces. They have such good stuff and they're always coming out with cute pieces. And yeah, make sure if you guys shop you use my links, but I'm just so obsessed. And thank you guys so much for watching this video. I will see you in my next one.